is celebrated as his country's player of the century. His timing and placement were sublime. His integrity and his love for the game transcended politics and self-interest. A batsman of rare genius, Graham Pollock, is one of ESPN's legends of cricket. literally South African cricket's finest hour, Durban, 1970. In the hour after lunch on the first day of the second test, Graham Pollock and Barry Richards added 103 runs. I remember vividly what happened um, the first session of that test match in Durban in 1970. Um, Barry Richards scored 94. And the ground, it was Barry's home ground, so the ground was abuzz with uh, the name Richards. A wicket fell in that last over, Graham Pollock came in at number four. And he, there was a, three or four balls to face in that over. He whacked a couple of fours and then at the end of the over he sort of stood and leant on his bat. It was one of those sessions that happened every now and then that Barry had played so well and I think when the Aussies came out after lunch they, they, they weren't over positive as what was going to happen. And I remember, I think my first delivery from Alan Connolly was a half volley outside off stump, so I got off quickly with a four, and that set it up. And I remember saying to Keith Stackpole, who was next to me in the slips, I said, we've got a problem. And Stacky said, what's the problem? I said, he's going to see how many runs Barry Richards gets, and then he's going to double it. I was wrong. Barry Richards got 140, and Graham only got 274. Pollock went on to make 274, at that time the highest test score by a South African. He was a master batsman at the height of his powers. Graham Pollock will go down as one of the greatest left hand batsmen that I've had the pleasure to, uh, to, to watch. He, when he got in, he, he took full control, he could turn a game, he was a tremendous player. Awesome when he got going, awesome. He had terrific style and was a very big and powerful man and could tear bowling attacks to pieces. And um, uh, again, a, a, a cricketer who, for world political uh, reasons, was never able to uh, flower properly. But, but I, I mean, I've seen him play often and he was a great, great player. Pollock had a beautifully simple technique and his judgment of length was instant and almost infallible. I just think that, that people get a bit over technical and I, I just basically, my basic was as long as you, 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 you balanced and your head is still and you watch the ball that uh, you've got a, a good chance. I think he, he's a bit like a, a Richards type player, you know, he, he never, and a Gary Sobers, uh, they never relied on, on bat pad and things like that. Graham just put his foot down the wicket and, and hit it. Graham Pollock's probably the second best batsman that I ever saw. Um, very aggressive, very strong through the offside, um, magnificent timer of the ball. And probably the other thing I remember about him was uh, very hard to beat in the flight with spin bowlers. He was a great player. He had this sort of uh, easy, casual approach to his, but his, his technique was so correct and so good and uh, his timing was absolutely perfect. I think he's, he's right up there with Sobers, as far as a batsman's concerned, easily. Uh, he's got an incredible average. I mean, he's, you know, they, whatever they threw at him, Graham Pollock handled. Uh, he, he had a slightly different technique, although it was incredibly, uh, incredibly uh, aggressive. You know, he spread his legs, he stood there, and he just seemed to be able to hit it in the middle of the bat. He had this very heavy bat he used as well. I mean, he was using a three-pound bat when everyone else was using a two-and-a-half-pound bat. Uh, very thin handle, um, just a wonderful player to watch. 